is all in or all out. Well, come on, come on. Now I'm going to start off with a scripture for you from Revelations. Chapter 3, verse 15 and 16. And Christ is speaking to a particular church. He says, I know thy works. Well, come on, come on. That thou art neither cold nor hot. Well, well, I would that thou wert cold or hot. Meaning, well, I wish you were cold or hot. Well, so because thou art lukewarm, well, well, neither hot nor cold, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Well, well. Now where I'm going with this all in or all out, see a lot of us think that if we're doing some of what God asked us to do, we okay. Well. That is the furthest thing from the truth. Well, Lord. If you read that scripture, it makes it plain. Well. Now, I didn't say it. Well. It's in the Bible. I'm well. simply repeating what I have read and what I have studied. Well. Now, I'm going to illustrate a few things to you, and I'm going to show you what we as Christians do today. Well. I'm going to show you why the word has become bastardized. Uh, Most of the Christians, if, if Christ were to come back today, a lot of us, he would not even recognize. What? Because on. we have bastardized the word. Well, well. We have done to the word today what the Jews had done to the Old Testament. Well. They bastardized the word. Yeah. In one incident, Christ had to say to them, the Sabbath was made for man. Well, not man, the Sabbath. Well, Yet they would use the law of the Old Testament to condemn Christ. And he is the author of the whole thing. Well, come on, come kind on. of funny, isn't it? Well, here's what we do as Christians. And I picked out several scriptures that I, I want to show you. And this is what we do with our Bibles. Well, Let's see, if we were to read Leviticus 20 and 13, now, the last time I spoke, you know, I told you, uh, we talked about, are you judged by the law, or are you under the new covenant? Well, so now for those who aren't under the new covenant, they're still judged by the law. Well, those that are under the new covenant are judged by grace. Well, but I'm going to illustrate some things that, for those of us who don't follow the New Testament, what we do with the Old Testament, and for those of us who follow the uh, Old Testament, what we do for the New Testament. See, we like to pick and choose. Well, some of us want to be under the law when it benefits us. Well, come on. And, and, and where it doesn't benefit us, then we want to jump under the, the, the New Testament. Well, so I'm going to show you, ain't no back and forth, ain't no in betwixt. Yes, that come yes, come might say. Come Leviticus 20 and 13. Well, and if a man lie with mankind as with womankind, both of them having committed abomination, well, they shall surely be put to death. Well, Their blood shall be upon them. Now, pretending, pretending, make sure I say it, pretending, I said well, it three times, I'm pretending, well, I'm a homosexual. Well, well, you know what? I don't like that part of the scripture. <laughs> I'm going to rip that out of the Bible. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to hear that. What? Come you on. know. <laughs> oh, but you know what? If you jump up to the New Testament, uh, let's see. Come on, tell Where's that scripture? I need, oh, Romans. Chapter 1, verse 26 to 27. Well, for this cause, God gave them up to vile affections. Well, for even their women did change the, na the natural use unto which that it was against nature. Well, well, and likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of a woman, well, burned in their lust one toward another. Well, men with men, working that which is unseemly, well, and receiving unto them, to themselves that recompense of their error, which was which was me. Well, so on, now let me let me jump to the New Testament where that scripture is. Man, you know I don't want to hear that. <laughs> so you just want to tell that, that out of the Bible. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> now I'm set. I'm a homosexual and I'm good to go. Because I done ripped out what I don't like. Mm. Well, come on, come on. <laughs> I ripped out what I don't like. Now, let's look at a couple others. Well, uh, Jeremiah 3 and 8. Well, and I saw 
when for all the causes whereby back, backsliding, Israel committed adultery. Wow. I had put her away and gave her a bill of divorce. Wow. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played with the harlot also. Wow. Now, here he's speaking in terms of the divided kingdom because, you know, after uh, uh, Solomon, uh, the last kingdom under the United, for the United Kingdom, Israel split up into two nations, Israel uh, and, and Judah. Wow. And basically what he's saying, that Israel has been taken into captivity because they played with uh, the harlot or other nations intermingled and they were eventually taken out of the picture. And then wow. that was just left Judah, the southern kingdom, and they did the same thing. Yeah. So what it's saying is, is we don't get the word from God. Wow. Wow. But we don't like the word that God has given us. Where? The guidance that he has given us. Instead, we'd rather listen to what somebody else tells us. Hey, man, it's okay. You come on over here and hang out with me. Hey, look, just because you're a Christian, it's okay for you to marry a Muslim. <laughs> look, just because you live a life of crime, you're still taking care of your, your kids. That's okay. You can, Christian woman, you can still go on and marry this brother even though he lives a life. We don't want to hear that, so we... Rip that. I don't want to hear that. Come on, come on, come I want to do this thing in a way in which it's going to make life good for me. What? Come on, come on. I got my new Bible now. What? The, 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 the one that I have ripped out. What? What I don't like. Now I know some of you are looking at me like I'm crazy. What? But I want you to understand this. When the day of judgment comes. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Those of you that have ripped out of the Bible. Where? What you don't want in it, Where? God is going to look at you as though you are an abomination. Yes, come on, come on. Because see, when you go to be judged, Where? Where? you should have had the whole Bible yeah. Yeah. in your yeah. heart. Yeah. Not just the parts that made life easy for you. Where? Where? Not just the parts that made you feel good. Where? 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 But even the parts that were bitter. Because trust me, it may have bitter, been bitter going down. What? But the fruit that it would have yielded would have made you all the wiser for taking it in. Yes. Come on. Come on. So you can't pick and choose what, what you want. What? Here's another one. Matthew 22, 37 and 39. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart what? and with all thy soul. And with all thy mind. Yes, yes. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes. Well, you know, I ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> I'm going to take that on that. That nigga was messing with me on my job. Excuse the use of the yeah. word. <laughs> oh, you know, I ain't having no parts of that. That sister got on a pair of shoes that cost more than mine. Yes. Oh, you know, I don't want to hear none of that. He's trying to make me help support the church financially. You know, no, 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 no. I don't what? want no parts of that. What? Mm. So I ripped that out of my Bible, and now I got me my word. <laughs> what you talking about? What you? That ain't in my Bible. <laughs> what? What? Show me in my Bible. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Here's another good one. 2 Corinthians 9, 6 and 8. What? But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. Yes. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Yes. Every man according as he has purposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly, or out of necessity, for God loves the cheerful giver. Let me break that down for you. Basically, Paul is saying, when you go to church, now you know we need to support the church. But hold, but hold up. <laughs> Understand this. If you sow just a little bit, you're going to get a little bit back. But if you sow a lot, you're going to get a lot back. But nevertheless, I want you to decide yourself what it is you're prepared to give. You decide what it is you're prepared to give. I don't want you to do it out of necessity. In other words, ain't nobody got a gun in your head telling you you better give. Okay? I want you to give cheerfully. Uh, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you that you, that ye, always having sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. In other words, if you're doing this out of your heart, what did I say? Under the New Testament, we are under grace. We do yes. things out of love. Right. We are not under the Old Testament. Wait. Oh, but you know what? That's the one scripture that a lot of preachers leave out. Uh -huh. 
They don't want to hear that. They don't, you don't never hear them talk about that. So what do they do? They rip, they rip that out of their Bible. <laughs> Come on. And then they use the headbanger scripture. Where? Where it says, uh, well, a man robbed God. They jump back to the Old Testament. See, now, it's convenient for them to Come jump on. back to Old Testament and put you under the law because they want to hold you at least to 10%. Well, if I can get the Negroes to give up just 10%, you know, I'm halfway ahead of the game. And I work on getting them to do more than that later on. Forget about them wanting to do it.